TV One TV for life. News first, face to face with Jamal Rapnaika. Good evening and welcome to this Monday's edition of Face to Face, bringing you this evening's program for the News First team. I'm Jaya Marat Naika, as always. And tonight, I have a guest with me who has recently concluded a visit and a tour in India that grabbed the headlines both locally and internationally. My guest tonight is Professor Anil Zanta, National Executive Committee Member of the National People's Power. He is also part of the Economic Council of the National People's Power. A very good evening to you, Mr. Anil Zanta, and welcome on the show. Very good evening to you, Jaimal. So, Mr. Anil, your schedule seems to be quite busy as of late. You had uh, a five-day visit to India where the leader of the National People's Power was also leading the delegation. You met with several top brass of India's administrative and political structure. Mm -hmm. You met with several industry leaders. You had visited many places, including Ahmedabad, which is considered as a development model yeah. in, uh, in the modern context. So before we delve deeper into the specifics, give us a brief on how the tour went and what sort of outcomes you experienced during your tour? Mm, yeah, basically, like um, in a nutshell, I can uh, tell that it was a great uh, uh, the success. Mm. And um, uh, basically, uh, so it is like compact since mm. that was five years, a little bit hectic. Right. However, um, the main areas that um, we could uh, touch. Mm. Um, uh, include uh, the political aspects mm. um, of because they, they, they had certain concerns so we will discuss what they are right then um, how they have achieved um, uh, economic growth of mm. course even though the country has not reached up to a developed state so we see uh, the how best uh, the country is progressing mm. uh, very key industries we were able to see key right. industries mm. and um, we were able to um, have very good dialogues right. of developing future uh, solidarities and relationship with them, mm. espe especially focusing mm. on the areas where we can thrive mm. through uh, collaboration okay. so rather than competing with India. Okay. So th those are the main uh, three areas. Mm. So maybe we can further elaborate and yes, see. Yes, please do. So yes. you, uh, the leader of the NPP and the delegation that he was leading met with India's external affairs minister, Dr. Yeah, S. Jay Shankar, yeah. and uh, you met several chief ministers as well. So let's start off with what was discussed with uh, Dr. Jay Shankar, in, mm. especially in terms of uh, India-Sri Lanka relations, national security, security of the Indian region, the Indian Ocean region and Sri Lanka as well. Yeah, from the Political uh, the perspective, we met um, uh, Dr. Jai Sankar, mm. and again uh, we met um, National Secretary Advisor Ajit Doal. Uh, Ajit Doal. Mm. And in the evening on the same day, right. we met um, the Secretary of the um, Foreign Ministry, um, and that is within Delhi. Okay. And in Gujarat, uh, we met uh, Chief Minister. Mm. In Kerala, we met one um, uh, Minister, Minister in Industries, Law and Industries. Right. Um, we, we discussed several things, especially mm. as you highlighted, um, um, mainly their concern was the <coughs> National Security of India right. and the, not only India, in the region as mm. well. And what um, uh, we are going to do, let's say as of now, they have certain kind of experiences. Um, they must have invited us on the belief or with the whatever the facts that they have that we would come to power in the future. Right. So they wanted to clearly know. Mm. So what's our stance like our foreign policy mm. and how we are going to deal with this? I mean, maintain diplomacy. Yes. So the like in summarized form, mm. like they ask. Um, so how are we going to use this? Okay. So we gave them a very straightforward answer, mm. saying that um, we follow non-aligned policy. Okay. And um, we gave them a kind of assurance that um, no country can, in the world, can mm. use Sri Lankan soil right. to create unnecessary problems mm. or threats to India. Mm. And in the same way, mm. 
we do not allow even India to use Sri Lanka right. as against other countries' mm. uh, 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 policies or any other thing. Mm. So we uh, demarcated this thing by highlighting the fact that within the world, the political sphere, mm. being a small country, we said that actually we do not have any role or any agenda mm. in the international politics yes. to be achieved. Yes. So we have something else because mm. we need to bring up our country from this particular abyss. Yes. So, but we said that yes, India, you have a role to play mm. and therefore we are not going to um, interfere with that, mm. but we gave that particular assurance. Right. Uh, they were really happy. Even um, I noticed mm. from their like facial expressions, right. before asking the question, like mm. um, they maintain a kind of like rigid uh, the facial expressions and it was I mean, very formal. Uh, in a way, first, uh, formal. Yes. Mm. But once we gave that uh, answer, I saw how the facial expressions uh, were changing and friendly manner mm. like accommodating us. Mm. And further comrade, our leader comrade Andra Disanayaka, very clearly mentioned like um, unlike other political parties, mm. we uh, do not have any double standards. Right. What we have to say in front of you, mm. yes, we are saying the same thing mm. at what we do is the same thing. Right. There would not be any double standard. Mm. So. That is from our side. We explain. I think uh, since we also made all those, exp I mean, the statements genuinely, very clearly, mm. very clearly, they, I, we believe mm. um, that they sense it. Mm. So that is how very cooperatively they accepted, mm. and um, we said that they said that from there, and of course, in the future, mm. we would look forward to um, uh, maintain these stances mm. in such a manner to bring, especially, the maintain the peace within the region. Mm. And that would lead to further economic collaborations, whereby we also can gain lots of things, how best to develop our economy by utilizing our resources and all. Right. So that is the, uh, yes, the basic uh, uh, the political aspects. Okay. Mm. So you also met uh, the security advisor, Mr. Ajit Dhruval. Yeah. And we know in the current context, there are a lot of geopolitical tensions by yeah. way of wars and also several cold wars we can see brewing, especially yeah. in Sri Lanka's exclusive economic zone and uh, the Indian Ocean region where China seems mm, to mm. be exerting its influence mm, and several mm. research vessels of China have yeah. uh, arrived in our region, in our waters and there have been certain newspaper articles saying that India has won the war between uh, India and China Thank in you. terms of obtaining Sri Lanka uh, favoritism and so on. So, what sort of security concerns were discussed? Were, did you make it clear that Sri Lanka will remain a sovereign nation and there will no, no there will be no uh, any sort of tampering mm. with uh, Sri Lanka between any sort of regional power, be it China or India or the US and so on. So, what sort of security concerns were brought yeah, up so during your discussion? Yeah, certainly, uh, we maintain our stance and clearly explain mm. what our stance is. Right. So, they did not ask any questions about uh, what the present government is doing and okay. what the previous government did. Mm. So, they ask what we are going to do. Like our, our uh, other stance was the, the, right. the main concern, but mm. from our side, we believe that we clearly passed the message and they communicated it very well, right. and um, they uh, it was uh, they, they were well convinced. Mm. Um, yeah. All right. So, uh, still sticking to the the yeah. topic of your visit because it yeah. grabbed a lot of headlines both uh, locally and internationally, and a lot of your opposing parties, yeah. uh, political parties, came forward and said that this was a deal between mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the JVP that is the, the major political party within the NPP and uh, <laughs> Ranil Vikramasinghe. Some said that uh, the JVP who historically rejected uh, India's uh, bilateral relation with Sri Lanka is mm -hmm. now changing their shape and they are going towards mm -hmm. India and seeking assistance from India. So what sort of a paradigm shift has happened there Mr. Jayant? Uh, is the NPP evolving its policies and its stances according to this new world order? Is it what's taking place at present? Mm. Actually, um, uh, I do not know on what basis like that mm. these kind of rumors or these um, allegations were made that the government arranged this thing. Mm. So that is up to them. But mm. it's very clear for us uh, this invitation came a uh, little bit like um, uh, maybe in uh, December 2023. Right. We arranged it, mm. but why it was surprised because we kept it uh, very secret and sealed all those things until the last minute. Right. So no one um, uh, thought that mm. it was a kind of uh, uh, the official to a, uh, based on government invitation. So that could be the reason so why these kind of allegations, allegations and the mud uh, right. came. Mm. Um, as far as our history and the present and the future prospects are concerned, 
very clearly we just told them even uh, in one particular meeting with a one big think tank mm. uh, uh, that is called Vivekananda International Foundation right. uh, that comprises of um, um, intellectuals from mm. different uh, areas mainly uh, from um, uh, security uh, the concerns mm. are there so uh, we explained mm. them in the past so that is highly contextual mm. based on that contextual reality mm. we happen to do this thing even we happen to like um, come forward with a kind of like um, the, the taking arms even right. Uh, but that is uh, maybe a uh, uh, couple of decades ago, right. like even yeah, three, four decades ago. Mm. Then we showed them how the world has been evolving, mm. how parties or the political parties are evolving mm. and people are evolving by considering the realities mm. of the world. The world is also changing to great extent. world is now driven by technology, mm. unlike in the past, like this uh, uh, thinking of living in a a country mm. um, like uh, based on high nationalistic perspective mm. simply ignoring the global perspective mm. I don't think that in the being, being confined confined to the, to the island, yes. island so that, mm. that would not be a good thing like we explain all those things so right. therefore environment is changing mm. technology is changing parties are changing people are also changing so therefore we are also changing we are evolving not for a bad cause but for a positive ways to build collaborations and relationship with the world. Mm. At the same time, we also told them that how India also has, so India also mm. has been changing yeah. and changing their stances for uh, the good causes. So as of now, the situation is um, to achieve the prosperity for the people or mm. countries, mm. not through fierce competition mm. or fierce fights. Instead, so the, there is a way or, or, to achieve like especially to achieve economic developments mm. um, through collaborations right so the, 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 these are the points that we highlighted okay they accepted so, so now we, we can say that the the Indian visit and relations between India and the NPP are somewhat secure so what about the other major players uh, Mr. Jayantha in the world let's mm. see China mm. the mm. US uh, certain mm. European countries Russia we have enjoyed uh, very successful bilateral relations with all mm, of these mm, countries mm. for many decades and Sri Lanka has been held in high stead mm. in the international community. So what is the NPP's stance regarding all of these geopolitical players and the world's superpowers mm. as a whole? Yeah, so there could be possibilities, um, but it doesn't mean that we have to have like um, we will have the same uh, possibilities and opportunities with respect to all the big players. Mm. Um, but with everyone we are ready to deal with, mm. especially India cannot be neglected to so be our neighbor right. and the biggest country. Mm. And uh, another potential is there, especially in the sub-Saharan African region mm. and Middle East, even in the European region, yes. the China as well. Mm. And even if you take the fact of India, right. in one discussion uh, we held with the uh, Confederation of Indian Industries, right. so that um, really deals with not only the private sector organization, even the public sector and the what we call so unique which I notice in the, the business or economic development processes, mm. what we call social uh, uh, um, those kind of uh, social groups are also involved. Right. Like, uh, like Social, civic groups something like civic okay. groups like mm. so they work together to achieve uh, common prosperity mm. then when they reveal the information about the trade between india and sri lanka mm. uh, by referring to some agreements as well right. and the other trades as mm. well so the fact that we on average mm. uh, in an in a year we mm. import so last year we have imported goods and services uh, amount into um, 6.3 billion dollars. Right. What we have exported is 1.2. Okay. And the another factor, very important point mm. for, is even though we have imported very uh, insignificant amount, amount yeah. out of the total goods and services that are ready for exports, mm. we have tried with 67% of items. I see. After trying with 67% of items, we have gained only 1.2. Mm. So they have actually exported us only 10% of the items which are possible. So it clearly shows us how, how 
bad our i mean the trade policies are mm. our people do not think of bringing the prosperity to country but bringing some benefits to their personal and so that is the mm. so they also accept the fact that why can't you export more mm. because potential is there mm. why don't you go for value added products mm. that uh, in so many areas especially in agriculture fisheries even mm. in uh, semiconductors so i'll just explain later how it park techno park uh, the, uh, the discussion discussion, with, so uh, discussion with us mm. so basically this is the picture as far as the trading is concerned our major uh, counterpart would be india mm. and china and europe as i just explained mm. we are re- whenever uh, as of now whenever the opportunity is surge we are ready to grab it mm. uh, through a transparent manner right so delving into this uh, particular topic of mm. uh, being a part of the global supply chain we know that in today's world if you take a certain product if you take a phone or even a vehicle or mm. any sort of appliance it's not made in one country exactly it's sourced from various different countries all of the different ingredients mm-hmm. and the elements come together to make that product and sri lanka can definitely be a part of that global supply chain especially because of its close proximity to india and the bilateral relations that uh, we successfully have achieved mm. so what sort of discussions were held in terms of increasing sri lanka's output increasing mm. sri lanka's production making sri lanka's economy an export oriented economy and so mm. on just uh, enlighten me as well yeah so apart from the other goods like um, especially in the agriculture fisheries sector mm. um, we um, visited um, a place called techno park in kerala okay um <coughs> so, so they highlighted um, as how uh, they have achieved these things so with government commitment mm. the provision of infrastructure facility mm. facilities and bringing the right people okay. on board and just facilitating them right so um, then comrade anur also ask like as far as the technology is concerned because mm. all the time you may have seen that we say that through technology it semiconductors exactly. and just um, entering into global supply chain say there is a potential of mm. course there is a potential mm. they also showed us i can show you one picture mm. uh, how the how our discussions uh, how successful our discussion was right. this is the uh, the uh, the news uh, the lead news uh, published in their website that I is see. the techno park mm. so it says very clearly sri lankan delegation visits techno park seeks partnership to develop island nations it, IT sector. sector so this is a very good evidence mm. and uh, there are uh, mainly i would like to focus mm. so <clears throat> there is a potential that we can go for um, collaborative mm. uh, uh venturing mm. and it, it is not going to be something company that is the point the uh, comrade anura asked right. uh, is there any possibility for any country especially for sri lanka yeah. because we have been um like we have not been able to uh, cap tap into the, that market tap into that market mm. when the uh, the technology really yes. the grew mm. so as of now what is the potential for a country uh, like sri lanka to mm. com- grab the market ten compete so his idea was also mm. you no know, it's of course you can try yes. but in order to bring about the more prospects for both countries better to go for partner partnerships and like uh, 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 alliances something like so th- that is one potential mm. and in addition uh, we discuss um, in the gujarat province uh, as you yes, said in the sphere yes and uh, what they call gujarat model right. <clears throat> gujarat model they had paid attention on power and energy mm. so there is a potential for us we also questions like they also ask now we it's a fact that adani has come here mm. and tried for some kind of agreement yes. so one of the biggest problems mm. uh, with this these kind of agreements are not clear they are not transparent mm. because you see so they are really a park yes. so we showed them and even we took evidence from them as well right. uh, one lady uh, may be representing uh, energy uh, the sector, uh, sector. Mm. uh the recent the the recent two tenders that they had given for pa- private uh, energy suppliers mm. in the wind power okay. to purchase power purchasing agreement mm. the the cost the purchasing price if uh, uh, is rated was 0.03 dollars whereas now we are talking about 0.075 dollars so more than double mm. so this is then we, they we revealed the fact and showed them that this is how this is the our, deal we, that we have got yeah mm. <clears throat> they, they 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 are like accepted admitted like if something goes wrong they they also said that that is too much mm. so you you can't uh, run it uh, mm. smoothly so even at the discuss uh, the, the discussion with amul also yes. we highlighted all these apart things mm. and wanted to bring the transparency mm. so uh, actually from their side like i do not know their political intention and other things mm. as far as the business 
the perspective is concerned so they accepted and they are ready to go for very open and transparent discussion <coughs> the important point is that gujarat and uh, where <coughs> this power and uh, energy sector mm. and the tourism also right. untapped tourism area is like de- because there are no direct flights i see so they highlighted that if you can <coughs> operate even indian airlines or sri lankan airlines or any other mm. so better to have a kind of program <coughs> have direct connection so tourists are ready to they we will develop a master plan maybe for 10 years mm. to send tourists there so <coughs> that would to, be really beneficial not sri only sri lanka but also our tour because they are also waiting to get tourism kind of experience mm. and they like sri lankan uh, um, tourists uh, in at, india yeah, that, that is another mm. and um, another important thing like we visited many mm. i'm just highlighting the important key highlights key, yeah uh, place called i create mm. i create is an entrepreneurship uh, incubator okay so where they tra- like it is not simple training mm. <clears throat> they really provide all the facilities mm. guide them direct them to come out with new inno- innovation mm. there were several entrepreneurs they had come with kind of new ideas, ideas. the first time it was fail second mm. time fail likewise mm. after five six times they eventually success. made it a success success mm. now they are doing the thriving businesses mm. so those costs are <coughs> borne by the government right so that is one mm. so in another area where we can um, uh, learn lessons and uh, think of how best uh, technology can be used to facilitate the link between citizens and mm. the government mm. that is uidi that is unified uh, sorry unique identification right. authority of india okay. where every citizen is given a particular identity mm. but without having a profile tracing i see okay. so that is the the, 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 the catch point that catch right. point mm. so almost 95% is covered 95% of population has been covered mm. and we also had referred similar kind of thing on our policies in 2019 saying that we would issue a kind of fiscal code mm. to connect people with the government mm. but by that time we were just like um, criticize saying that we are going to tax even when the people are born now right. it was not the case mm. just to connect because when people are connected with the government it is really transparent and the benefits will go to the those needy people mm. and no one can play around mm. so th- that that is another and we visited another city called uh, gift city right uh, that is basically a financial hub okay so it's a separate zo- uh, the zone mm. um, um, some facilities are given actually we need to study further whether we have to go for these kind of things so different but mm. lots of um, concessions mm. tax uh, <coughs> tax exemptions are, have been also given mm. where they give all the facilities mm. and uh, they invite especially big uh, indian investors they are operating now in uh, dubai and other countries doing uh, different kind of businesses okay. they want them to come back mm. to uh, india native indians native indians mm. and they promote indian other foreign investment yes, as yes. well because mm. as of now they have calculated about maybe big amount mm. uh, if they come there with that uh, the foreign exchange serv- saving would be very Much significant mm. it's a kind of uh, not only a financial city mm. so kind of uh, infrastructure providing city like creating a conducive environment for uh, investment it is like in. yeah yeah in like uh, promoting ease of doing business. businesses uh, that, that right. is one uh, important area mm. and another potential area in the agriculture mm. <coughs> and um, uh, irradiation uh, center right. so they use radiation to uh get rid from these uh, the problems of mm. um, perishable foods right. and then the shelf life would go up mm. that's also amazing mm. uh, in uh, rural lot of area that is investment been... happening in the r and d uh, yeah. sector for multiple areas including agriculture yeah. power energy and so on yeah. so mr jayanth you sp- you spoke very eloquently and i see you have experienced uh, many things in your visit to india as well as your leader but when it comes to the fact of the matter there has to firstly be a presidential election and mm. the npp has to win that presidential election so very quickly before we uh, wrap up tonight's program tell our viewers what differentiates the npp from the rest so that they are inspired mm. to vote for the npp when if and when the presidential election happens yeah so before that i'll just add quickly mm. uh, another important place we visited was um, uh vikram uh, 
<coughs> Sabahai uh, Space Center. Okay. Right. Normally, when we hear about the space, like aerospace. we think of aerospace, mm. and actually, the outcome of their successes and research mm. are being utilized for agriculture yes. and fisheries industry uh, by providing uh, accurate information for them to uh, right. So they are interlinking sectors interlinking. to that develop is, other sectors. That, so well. therefore, they, mm. have, they showed us the kind of potential for our people to go there and have kind of training and training. So and we thought out. of that as well. Right. So coming to your question before wrapping it up. Yes. Um, so how we are different from others? Actually, um, um, as far as human people are concerned, they, we look to be the same. Mm. But we are different from in terms of policies mm. we are not going to form a government to use the mandate to gain private uh, benefits mm. so very clearly we affirm that uh, we will not have any conflicts of interest mm. we always uphold the the public interest and we try our level best to bring the prosperity, common prosperity mm. to everyone. So mm. that is the difference. So this has been uh, like uh, not only just mentioned in our policies, mm. we are practicing these things. So without which no country can develop because mm. government is an agent of the people. Mm. So we need to do that agent's uh, job mm. uh, by taking the uh, correct uh, responsibilities mm. and by being held ourselves accountable. Mm. This is how we are. Uh, uh, planning, mm. so you can watch and see, and in any point of time, mm. uh, we can you, you the general public can question, mm. and at the same time, <coughs> we want general public to uh, join hands with us. Mm. It is not something we maintain our own mechanism and uh, create benefits and give it to you. No, we show the path, the direction, mm. how best the prosperity can be brought. Mm. Then you join our economic policies, social policies, politics, and all those things. We work together with a great hope. So this is how we are different, mm. and we believe that the coming general, uh, the presidential, no matter what election comes, it looks like presidential election would come, mm. and certainly we can win it. And the biggest challenge is now. I don't see that it is winning or not winning. Biggest challenge is after winning, how best we uh, develop, take, the develop this country first. Mm. Take the the economy uh, like out of this particular abyss mm. and put back on the track. Right. The government is the people's agent and the NPP is very, very strictly, very, very strictly determined to take Sri Lanka to greater heights with developing its economy and also in the meantime developing bilateral relations with countries. That is the message my guest tonight, Professor Anil Jayantha, has for you. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for face-to-face -to -face tonight. Take care and good night.